Welcome in the C learning on how to unload Loom from the container. Warning. Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating, maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. Depending on the circumstances there are several ways to unload the weaving machine. Unloading the weaving machine out of a container. Unloading the weaving machine in case of a loading dock. Unloading the weaving machine with two forklift trucks. Unloading the weaving machine with towing hooks. This video is in case of a loading dock. Further information on the other methods can be found in the setting manual or CTG documents. Please read these before starting the unload procedure. Unloading the loom from container. Looms, which are supplied in a container, can be unloaded in different ways, depending on the local situation or on the unloading equipment on hand. This video is only in case there is a loading dock for trucks at the customer's side. During unloading, the following aspects must be strictly observed. Always use appropriate machines and tools in order to move the machine. Be sure that all screws and nuts of the used tools are tightened with the exact torque before starting the activities. It is very important that the loom remains horizontal in width and in depth while it is transported. To remove a loom from the container, two methods are used. The first one by using towing hooks and towing cables that can be ordered from Picanol. And of course a certificated forklift. The second possibility is using pulling plates that are mounted on the first loom plateau in the container, a steel cable and a certificated forklift. Proceed as follows to remove the loom from the container in case the customer has ordered the towing hooks and the towing cables from Picanol. To do this safely, first place a L profile on the forks of the forklift. Place a wooden block between the L profile and bridge of the forklift. So that the bridge of the forklift does not bump against the loom. Drive the forks under the pallet of the loom until the L profile is positioned under the wooden pallet. Fix the towing cables behind the forklift by means of a hook. The towing cables must be sufficiently strong depending on the weight and the packing of the loom. Next you can fix the towing hooks on the wooden sledge. Then drive the forklift backwards until the cables are tensioned, while doing this action make sure that the L profile is still in correct place. Then lift the side of the loom maximum 5 cm or 2 inch upwards, and pull it carefully out of the container. In order to prevent the formation of rust allow the loom of acclimatize in the weaving shed for 24 hours, before opening the VCI packing. Redo this procedure for all looms. When the customer did not order the towing hooks and towing cables the looms have to be unloaded by means of pulling plates, steel cables and forklift truck. One set of pulling plates is mounted on the wooden floor of the first loom in the container, and work in the same way to unload the machine, but with the pulling plates instead of the towing hooks. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.